Portland. Like, if you're white in Portland, you're definitely not on that side of things. Yeah, like, you're, oh, right. you're woke as fuck. Yeah, thousand percent. Beyond a frustrating situation for a woman in southeast Portland, she says that someone has broken into her home multiple times, and now she has had enough and has decided to move out. Fox 12's Felina Aguilar talked with that woman today. She has her story. Nancy tells me the last time someone broke into her home was earlier this week, and she says that she's so tired of it that she decided to move. I didn't want to come home. Nancy Utterson has lived on Southeast. Speaking of others, but um, Damn. yeah, she's, <laughs> yeah, they on her ass. She's um, she's had her um, house broken in three times. <sighs> I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know if I could blame the son man for this man. Um, this might be wider shit than crackhead meth type shit, um, copper wire type shit. Nancy um, Utterson has lived on Southeast Chorus Street for more than 20 years. But beginning just before the new year, her home was broken into three times. She says her garage doors have been damaged and her front door was left wide open. This last time when I went in my house, <laughs> they'd been in there, they had been staying in there. and. Everything has been unpacked. She's tried everything, even changing her locks four times. You can't see our couch. <laughs> you can't see our coffee table. Nancy says there's been a major camping problem on her street. She believes it may be part of the problem. She says it's gotten so bad, she hasn't slept in her home since September. She says a trailer was parked just a few feet away for two and a half years. And after many, many phone calls, the trailer was finally towed. You couldn't see. She voted from, for this. Like, right at that tree. So there's a trailer with people living right. In, that's a crazy. Some people just park a it's trailer. It's like homeless there. niggas just pulled up and just living on the street. I mean, God, dog. Sounds like they got all a home now. To the road and all the way back on this side. They had their. Um, I don't feel open. bad for her. She and voted for it. And yeah. it. It was crazy. You couldn't walk on the sidewalk. She says she's made the decision to move because it doesn't feel like the home she's had for the past 20 years. You want to feel proud of where you live and you want to feel comfortable in your own home. Great, you she's going to go about to ruin to some other place. Safe. Look at that. Imagine that just pulls up in front of your house. Well, Jeez. I think I'd rather have the camper type than the than the tent ones. The tent I'll pull ones, up aren't, they, stick. aren't they worse than the camper ones? Yeah, that's. I think they're all bad. Um, it depends, dude. I've seen um, stolen campers getting uh, taken up by by gangbangers who who use it as like a a trap house or whatever. You know. Wow. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, anything, anything. Very that's, true. Because I mean, those, those encampments are very lucrative for drugs, man. If you if you, if you, if you slang it, man. Um, mm, man, it was a street takeover in Compton. That man's out of control, man. Chaos in Compton when a sideshow erupts into looting. Trash. Right. This is at the intersection of Central and Alondra. A huge crowd taking part in a sideshow turned on a nearby gas station, smashing windows and doors until they got in and then looted. Damn. The Thousands of dollars of goods were stolen. Deputies had been dispatched to the up. area, but were unable to intervene <laughs> as they were outnumbered. Pooh shicey mask. Pooh shicey mask. Pooh shicey mask. Facts. You see that shit one, anywhere? It's some exclusive. Know. One arrest was made. Except one arrest? <laughs> that probably done yep. that. They said what one a, arrest was made. A war zone in um one arrest. Oh shit. We have a war zone here in um Denver, man. Wow. Video that will undoubtedly be tough to watch and to hear. It shows a shooting unfolding right here in the Green Valley Ranch neighborhood. You can see some of the gunfire. The video is showing nearly 10 seconds of straight gunfire. We know one juvenile is in critical condition and a man ended up people running by with their pants sagging with minor injuries. You can also see some folks running around here. It happened near homes on East 48th Place. That is where Fox 31's Courtney from talked to neighbors today. She has more about what they're saying tonight. Hey, Courtney. Hey there, Joshua and Kim. Now, actually, Denver police were still out there investigating late tonight, and they confirmed with us that there was a large gathering at the home on East 48th Place. Now, neighbors Ash. describing the whole thing as a shootout and tells us there were dozens of shell casings all over this neighborhood.
just a bunch of kids shooting shooting fire. It's like a war zone. Being shown. Neighbors watching and listening in horror as gunfire erupted outside their homes early Sunday morning in Green Valley Ranch. We heard all of them have guns. All of them, like they just all have a gun. Watching yeah, and listening in hope as gunfire erupted outside their homes early Sunday morning in Green Valley Ranch. We heard like a massive shootout on our on our property. This neighbor, who wanted to remain anonymous, says it all started at a home down the street. They were using our, our truck as a shield. Bullets flying everywhere on this block as the shooters and the others began running. My my kids actually sleep on the second floor, like right at the windows. They literally fell to the ground and, and crawled all the way to where we were. She says the bullets hit nearby cars, shattering windows and leaving holes in houses, doors down. The house in front has gunshots in her, on her garage by the garage door. Um, there's blood stains on the next house. Denver police responded to that shooting on East 48th Place. And they called them like the Omega phone, like everybody in this house and said the address, come out with your hands up. They didn't come out and they called them multiple times, multiple times. Finally, I guess they brought the SWAT team. <laughs> And this neighbor describing the chaos continued even after the gunfire stopped. Had their hands zip tied, but they were all yelling and screaming at oh the police God. officers and they would tell them to sit down and they wouldn't sit down. She says her biggest worry is how... <laughs> Just put a fucking bullet in all of their heads and be done with it. Christ. <laughs> this is... I mean, this is... I mean, this is Denver. Uh, Your Honor, I plead not guilty. Right. Exactly. I mean, yeah, Denver's gone to shit in the last 20 years. Bad. I wonder why. I didn't see a black person anywhere when I was out there. That's just so bizarre, man. And I was in Denver proper. I didn't go downtown, but I was in the city. I wasn't in the suburbs. I wasn't in, you know, Aurora, Bold. I was in Denver. Also, I was recently in Denver and didn't see a single sun person. So I <laughs> clearly was in the wrong part of town. Yeah, man, it's just crazy, man. Um, how 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 they just manage to just be there like they're amorphous. They're like just... some men are committing ninety nine percent of the shootings in Denver. <laughs> And this neighbor describing the chaos continued even after the gunfire stopped. Had their hands zip tied, but they were all yelling and screaming at the police officers and they would tell them to sit down and they wouldn't sit down. She says her biggest worry is how are teens getting their hands on guns? But it was a lot. I want to say about 10 to 15 teenagers all around the same. I would say anywhere from like 15 to like maybe 18. 19 years old and if her neighborhood is no longer safe i i honestly am contemplating selling and moving away because it's turned into this and we see it more frequently one sun house on the block can make everybody want to move that's how powerful we are all it takes is one house that hard how they're getting how they getting the that gun damn gun white house. flight Stealing them out of cars or buying them off the black market that are stolen out of cars. She took one look at their hair texture and said, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. Racist. Um, That's exactly what Musha was talking about. Wow. Yeah, she couldn't stand looking at it because it's so luxurious. She's so envious of that hair right, texture. Right, right. She, she really wants it. Yeah. And she knew that if she had to keep looking at it, she was going to attack the person and try to take the steal the hair. So she just had to get out of the situation. She's also upset because she knows her ancestors were taught to bathe by those people. So and count. Don't forget that. We taught you how to count. Oh yeah. They they came up with zero. They they yeah, they built her house too, didn't they? We made up the fucking ABCs. Yeah, exactly. We came up with uh, with the little jingle, that's ours. Y'all stole our, our culture. 